Hi friends. Today, I'm here to share with you the story of Deborah Sillaby. Deborah is a 24-year-old woman that our team met during our time in Bamako, Mali. We met Deborah in Clinic Gausufofana, which is just one of the three clinics that Embrace Relief supports in the capital city of Mali, which is Bamako. We met Deborah while she was in the clinic waiting room, waiting to get her first bandage of her cataract surgery removed. For the past three years, Deborah has been blind, and it started when she gave birth. So after she gave birth to her son, her sight began to rapidly decline. For the past three years, Deborah and her family turned to traditional medicine to try and curb the effects and uh, help her eyes heal, but unfortunately there was no results and her eyesight continued to deteriorate. When we met Deborah in Clinic Gausufofana, we were able to speak with her, ask her some questions, and she even invited us back to her home to meet her family and see how Malian people live every day. When we visited Deborah's home, we drove about 45 minutes away from Clinic Gausufofana, and it's still in the capital city, but rather far. The terrain that Deborah's house is located in is very rocky and unstable terrain. This is because she lives on a hill that is extremely prone to landslides, and so the road and any type of sidewalk that might be there has been covered with debris, rubble, and rocks, which make it extremely difficult to navigate. When we went to her visit her home, it was difficult for me and other team members to try to make our way up the hill, so I couldn't even imagine what it has been like for the past three years for her to try to get to her own home. Deborah also shared that while being blind due to cataracts, she isolated herself physically. She wasn't going out, she wasn't having company, and she wasn't really speaking to friends or family members outside of her immediate family. This caused Deborah to become extremely isolated and lonely. She even missed out on a wedding of a loved one that she missed because she was so ashamed that she couldn't see. Something that really touched my heart and opened my eyes that Deborah said about her experience with cataracts is this. I was walking through Clinic Gausufofana again and lo and behold, we saw Deborah. We greeted each other with smiles and hugs and although I do not speak Bambara and she does not speak English, we just knew that we were happy to see each other and that's all that mattered is that we said hi and we were ecstatic to see one another again. Deborah was there in the clinic that day to get her bandage removed on her second eye that she just got cataract surgery done. We had the opportunity to be in the examination room with Deborah and Dr. Almaz, which is the ophthalmologist who performed the cataract surgeries on both of Deborah's eyes. So we got to be in the examination room when the bandage was removed, and it was so beautiful to see Deborah see the world again fully. So by the time our team left Molly, Deborah's sight was completely restored and she was able to see and be a part of this beautiful world and her son and her family's life again. At the end of this entire experience, this is what Deborah had to say. <laughs> Deborah is just one of the thousands of people that you have helped restore sight to. Unfortunately, there are still thousands of people in Mali who need help just like Deborah did, and today you have the opportunity to join us in our mission to continue to give the miraculous gift of sight to the people of Mali.